Hello, hello, it's Thumplet here. Here's an item on algebra. What is the value of b plus c? So we are given that 2bcd72 is in increasing order. And we have three relationships. 2bc is in arithmetic progression. bcd is in geometric progression. And cd72 is in harmonic progression. Right? Credits to the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad for this item. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. All right, we do have four things here, four um, statements, and we should be able to kind of translate each of these four statements into its corresponding um, mathematical equation, expression, something like that. Okay, uh, let's talk about the first one. Uh, I think it's straightforward. That sequence being in increasing order, that's going to tell us that um, 2 is less than B, is less than C, is less than D, is less than 72. All right. And then let's try to translate the three progressions here. So one, we have the arithmetic sequence 2, B, and C. Okay. Now, 2, B, and C, we can kind of write it in this format. It's technically um, A minus D, where D is like the common difference, right? So it's technically A minus D, A, and A plus D. And there's this nice property that in, in, the, in three consecutive terms of the arithmetic sequence, you can try to see adding the first and the third gives me 2A, which is obviously 2A, so twice the thing in the middle. And in fact, that's going to be true in our case as well. So we do have the property that the sum of the first and the third, so in this case, 2 plus c, that must be equal to twice the middle, right? So that should be the relationship or like the equation that we can get from the arithmetic sequence. Next, for a geometric sequence, we could just kind of use the concept of like getting the ratio because we know that from b, uh, we multiply a certain ratio to get to c. And then from C, we, get, we multiply by a certain ratio to get to D. Okay. So we could say that the ratio that we multiply is C over B. Because B times this C over B is going to give me C. Uh, by the same reasoning, D over C is also the same ratio. Because C times D over C is going to give me D. And in fact... I could, I could cross multiply here and I will get the relationship that c squared is equal to bd. So that's the second thing that we could get. So from the geometric sequence, we could get that the middle term, the square of the middle term is going to be equal to the first times the third. So kind of similar to the property that we use in arithmetic sequence, but um, it, it, ha it has its own counterpart in the geometric sequence. Now for the harmonic sequence, um, three terms of a har um, terms of a har harmonic sequence. If we take the reciprocal of it, it's going to be an arithmetic sequence. So we could use um, the pretty much the same property in the arithmetic sequence. So um, C, D, and seventy two here in the harmonic sequence. It's going to tell us that one over C, one over D, and one over seventy two are in arithmetic uh, progression. And I could just use the property again: first plus last. So one over C plus one over seventy two. It's going to be twice the middle, so 2 over d. So we do have these four um, proper, um, I'm going to say, I'm say kind, of, kind of mathematical expressions and equations. And I believe what we have to do here, we do have three equations and we do have three variables, b, c, and d. So I think that's sufficient enough. And I think the conditions here are just going to give us a unique triple of values for b, c, and d. All right, now you could do whatever you want. But I, 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 I realize that there is like a, an easy way out of this because what I could do here is I'm going to multiply the left-hand side of 2 with the left-hand side of 3 and the right-hand side of equation 2 with the right-hand side of equation 3. So, um, so if, if I'm going to multiply equation 2 by equation 3, it's going to be c squared times 1 over c plus 1 over 72. That's going to be equal to bd times uh, 2 over d. I could cancel the d, and then this part, it's going to give me c 
plus c squared over 72 and this would just simply be equal to 2b and here is where i could incorporate my equation one because i know 2b it's just going to be c plus 2. so i would have c plus c squared over 72 being equal to 2 plus c and this is now simply an equation in c i could solve for c in this equation right cancel out the c here okay and then multiply both sides by 2 c squared is equal sorry multiply both sides by 72 apologies for that c squared would be 144 so c would either be 12 or negative 12 again take care of the positive and negative signs but we could eliminate one of those because going back to the given we do have like this inequality from the fact that the terms are like in increasing order so c must be greater than 2 so i don't think c could be negative 12 then so we're going to consider c to be 12. now we could always go back to the first equation we do have 2 plus c being equal to 2b from the arithmetic uh, sequence so 2 plus 12 is equal to 2b so 2b is equal to 14, so obviously we're going to get b here to be 7, right? So we do have the c that we need, we do have the b that we need, so b plus c would just simply be 7 plus 12, and we're going to get the final answer of 19. So you guys could try to get d if you want, but it's not necessarily for, it, it's not necessary for the question, so I'm just going to stop here, all right? So hopefully you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!